Hi and welcome to the King Jeffrey War Review. Um, I'm going to start doing these videos reviews a lot more now and stop doing the written reviews. I think it's easier just to show what um, we did in war and talk about it while just watching a few replays. Um, it's easier than writing out a whole wall of text to try and explain. So anyway, this war was King Geoffrey's 60th war win and as you can see here we won the last 10. Um, it was against a clan from Turkey called Turkan Guju, I think it's pronounced. Um, yeah, so let's have a look. 89-70 was the score. Um, 67 attacks won to their 46. They only used 64 attacks I think towards the end they gave up so you know, average destruction says it all, really. So let's have a look. <clears throat> Show some replays. We'll have a look at this first. 89-70, 79 attacks used. Agatis, uh, Elgatis, unfortunately, had to go to the hospital, so we allowed him to miss an attack for that. Attacks 167. Attacks lost 12, a little bit more than usual. Um, but yeah, in the end, we did a good job. Three stars, 14 three stars, 22 two stars. They had 19 Town Hall 10s, I think. Uh, town Hall 9s. Um, so, yeah. Let's see here. Most heroic attack was Kevin. Yep, so let's watch some replays. <clears throat> so you can see number 1 and 2, we only got one star on, but towards the end, we could have probably attacked them to try and get more, but we didn't really need to. I mean, we were a long way in front at the end. So I'll watch some replays. We'll start with DJ. I've picked out 10. Um, if I'll do more, I will, but I don't want to overrun 20 minutes. So here we go. Let's watch some replays. DJ been having a bit of a hard time at the moment, but he was back in this war with two wins in two of the top bases. So really good. Um, yeah, like I say, these this Turkish clan, they... We got matched with them. They had about, I think they got like 30 war wins, and it says that they wore always. So um, we don't know if they were going to be a new clan or whether they just lot, lost a lot of wars. Basically, they they had about five, six of their top players who were pretty good. They used five golem strategy, which takes a bit less thinking, I think. And yeah, they got they two starred most of our top bases, our top seven or eight. Um, but then after that, they, they really struggled. Um, the rest of their guys, their lower town or tens, tried to do the same as the top ones. They clearly didn't really know what they were doing compared to the others. So there was a lot of fails. Yeah, they they two starred most of our top ten, and then our lower town halls. A lot of them didn't get anything, which was unusual. Um, I'm the number 16, I think. They had two goes at me and failed both times. Yeah, so first attack, DJ with a really nice go wipe. Just straightforward, two stars. Base with max defences. Did really well. Take a look at the next one. But yeah, they, they, they had a go. At the start, they scared us a little bit, I guess, with our uh, taking out our top bases. But like I say, the rest were not good. Their town all nines were. A lot of them didn't even bother attacking, and they just went. They were using hogs, and one guy used hogs and heels on a town all ten with max infernos. He got like 28%. Um, yeah, and then most of the town all nines, it was just. Uh, go wipe, go wee wee, but not really good ones. They had a few hogs, a few loonians, but they, they weren't good attacks. I think they two starred all our two town all nines in the end, but um, they got one three star, which was against our bottom one, number 40. Uh, Phil, who's, who's a brand new town all nine. Kevin with a good raid. Only got level 20 heroes, 23 queen, 20 king, so pretty good on a on a max defense base. Like I said, these guys top 10 were were pretty good. Uh, their bases were, I think, like the top 13 had 
bases with max defences. Um, their walls weren't so great, but yeah, they, they, they had good bases. And in the beginning, we I think what we did to start with, we underestimated them a bit because of their war wins and looking at their town or nine bases. Uh, they were pretty weak bases and the setups were, they were not very good. Um, so we underestimated them a bit and we did start with quite a few uh, one star wins and a couple of fails on their town or tens. But later on we, we sorted that out and yeah, apart from their number one and two um, and one more, I think we two starred all the town or tens three starred 14 of the, I don't know, 19 is it, or 18 town or nines. So it did pretty good. Nice attack from Wes, again, max defences. Only got level 15 king, level 18 queen, so a good raid really considering that. Needed to get the last percent with an archer, but yeah, it's not a problem. <clears throat> he had those troops for a reason. Yeah, another thing with these, this clan, I don't know if it, they, they must have had a war or some wars against some really bad clans because these guys had, they had the same base over and over. They had one base that's really, really common, um, which if I've got time, I'm going to show you a replay on that one where we two star it. Uh, and then the town or nines, they had five of the same base. Now, see Ked here. Now I don't know why if that worked against somebody or what, but they must have been really, really bad to not three-star this base that the Town Halls Nines have. And I'll show you one of the raids because basically one of our guys, it was easy to three-star, so he worked out a way. He three-starred it, and then four more bases exactly the same. We just did exactly the same raid and three-starred all five very early on. So I'm not sure why they did that. Same with the Town Hall 10s, they have the same base five, six times. Um, so yeah, two starred it pretty much all those times. At the end we were way in front, we could have got more stars, two stars and three stars. We could have three starred their bottom two now, two Town Hall 10s as well, but I mean by the end it was it was pretty much over, well it was over. So we just did a, did a bit of practicing with the lava loons and lava loonian and things like that. You know, just to prepare us for future wars. Some of our town all nines tried a few go ho wee wees and things. So yeah, we took it pretty easy at the end. I had a go at number two, which I completely failed on, but hey ho. So yeah, that's a good raid by Ked. Uh, Kevin who we've already seen but yeah this I'll just show this quickly because this this base they had this five times and I mean sometimes it's a good base but the way they set it up and had it exactly the same it wasn't so great I mean Kevin just you know, straight in there once you've done a base once you know you're gonna do it time and time again and if to have the same base over and over in a war is just ridiculous to be honest but yeah this is what their, their guys wanted to do so cost them the war well it would have won anyway but yeah uh, so I've got a list with me of the ones I want to show so number 12 is the next one whoops yeah so I'm going to show five Town Hall 10s and then I'll show 5 Town Hall 9s as well. And then we'll announce 2 War Heroes for Town Hall 10 and 2 War Heroes for Town Hall 9 as chosen by moi. So what's here? Uh, she did this base. Credo actually was very unlucky. He mistimed his freeze spells and missed the Inferno both times. Uh, so Wooks basically copied what he did and did really well. It was a good raid. Another pretty common base though, so they had a lot of common bases that we've seen time and time again and it really isn't a good thing. Some of these bases they have them because yeah they are good, they're on the internet, they work, 
but after a couple of months people work out how to use them because they how to beat them because they've seen them so many times this clan we're using sort of bases that have been around for months um, so yeah they weren't too difficult to two star but good raid <clears throat> I'm gonna move on to the town or nines and watch a few of those We're about yeah halfway through the video so should be able to watch those now uh, first one I'll show is Chief Hercules and he three starred their top town or nine so using a goho wee wee I mean their top town or nines were pretty decent but lower down they were they weren't very good at all uh, defense wise they were decent but I mean yeah the defences were okay in good levels, but the, the base designs were. They weren't very good. But, you know, I mean, if it's a clan that just, you know, just has a bit of fun warring with friends and doesn't really mind winning, then, you know, that's, that's, that's fine. Everybody plays the game how they want. We take it a bit more seriously, you know. We want to, we want to win as much as we can. We put quite a lot of work into it. Go Ho Wee Wee Raid which more and more people are starting to do really good raid bunny by Hercules a fairly new member um, yeah this war was a bit opposite to the last one I mean we had Invictus Titans in the last war and our town all tens pretty much ran the show two starred all the town all tens and then Got a bunch of three stars on town or nines as well. In this war, it was our town or nines that actually did the business. They uh, they got quite a lot of of three stars here. In fact, I think town or nines got all the three stars, all fourteen of them. This one, this base now. This base they had five of, and we just attacked it exactly the same. All five bases of this were exactly the same base, same setup, everything. Um, so yeah, I think you can guess what's going to happen here. It's it was pretty obvious as soon as we saw the bases. May came up with a plan how to beat it, and then we just copied it on all five. I mean, yeah, it's all the defenses in one in four compartments. Um, I really don't know why they had this. I, I don't know if they got go wiped and it worked against go wipe. I don't know, but yeah. I'm not going to show more of these, but yeah, they had five bases exactly the same. Um. Let's bypass those and go to 33 with Eod. Missed Eod's three star in the last war, so I'll show it in this one. Again, Lava Loom. A bit different base this time, thankfully. Same result. Nice law, nice sap. good strategy I mean we've we've started to try and do a few more strategies uh, we did mostly and still do mostly go white but it is nice to have a few different strategies to try on certain bases this is a good strategy obviously you need the right type of base to do it on but yeah pretty good I've seen the enemy do it a lot against us and fail so. Got to make sure you do it right. What well, nice raid from Eod. This is, I think Eod just started using loons, so quite good. Really good member Eod. Always online helping out, talking through strategies with people if they need to. Yeah, nice raid. The next one's 35, and that's J Dub. Go wipe. 
three star. Get a lot of people saying, "Oh, why do you use go wipe all the time? It's a two waste two star strategy, and it's not very good for three stars." But yeah, we we get our fair share of three stars with go wipe and go wee wee. I don't really see if the base is right for it, then you know, go for it. And this one is. This one's nice and open, so. Golems can go around the outside with a few wizards while heroes and peckers clean up the middle. I mean, perfect strategy for this type of base. That's a good raid. Speed it up. So yeah, it was it was a pretty Easy war in the end. Um, wedge, I'll show Wedge. He did a, he did a lava loonian as well. I think it's one of his first. He's not been doing this. He's been using go wipe and hogs sometimes. I think another good raid. Well, we have posted some videos on Band, the uh, group chat app that we use. So if any members or new members want to see videos on Goho Wee Wee and Loonian and things like that, they can if they go on band and go on the main page, there's a thread at the top that I've stickied that has the videos in. If anybody has good videos then you can add them to there. Much appreciated and it's nice to try a few different strategies. All bases are weak against something, so the more attacks we have in our armory, the, the better it is. Good raid from Wedge. So yeah, three minutes to go. Um, that's all the all the ones, all the raids. So let's just have a look at this. Now we're going to have to choose two war heroes as town hall 10 and two war heroes for town hall 9 i am going to choose we got dj who got four stars on i think number three and number eight so he's going to be one war hero so well done dj um kevin yeah, Kevin, despite low hero levels, he got two stars on number four and number seven, I think. So yeah, he's second war hero. So DJ and Kevin are the war heroes for Town Hall 10. So Town Hall 9, let's have a look. Yeah, Mayfair has to be one. I mean, he did two, he did three star two bases that were like the copy of each other, but it was him who came up with the attack, how to beat it, and everybody copied his attack, and and three star helped us three star five bases. So Mayfair is going to get one. He's the war hero, and the other war hero, Eod did well. He did a great three star, and then copied May for the other. But because Chief Hercules basically did the same as Eod. He got a three star on one of the easy, uh, one of the repetitive bases, but he his other three star was on their top town hall nine. So I'll give it him. So Chief Hercules and Mayfair, the war heroes for town hall nine. DJ and Kevin town hall ten. Enemy clan, yeah, their guys they were decent. Their top ones, as you can see, got a few stars. I think they're number two, the leader was the best one. He did some good raids. Yeah. Um, anything else to to show you? Don't think so. I think that about wraps it up. Rogue attack Kevin. Um, yeah, so if anybody would like to check us out, then www.kingjeffreyclan.wordpress.com is our website. Go over there and take a look. And yeah, Warlog, 10 in a row. I think we won 16 of the last 17 now. We're always improving, so yeah. See you guys soon, and hopefully 
It'll be with another King Jeffrey Warwin. Goodbye.